Mapalang umaga mga kapiyo. Ngayong buwan ng Mayo, mapalit tayo sapagat matutunghaya natin ang kwento ng mag-asawang doktor na gumaling sa kanilang karamdaman. Dalawampot walong taon ng kasal si na Mr. and Mrs. Ola na taga Lupa City. Ako po ay si Oscar Olan. Uh, I'm a radiologist. I'm Joyce Olan. I'm a gastroenterologist. We encountered Padre Pio 2015. Our panata basically is when my dad got sick and at the same time when we both got sick we were more intense in the uh, our relationship with him. Last uh, year 2020, I had an incidental finding of lung CA. It was not yet definite if I really had uh, a lung CA, but the suspicious was really high. But due to the pandemic COVID, uh, we had a hard time uh, doing some diagnostic or doing the operation, so we had just to monitor myself. During the monitoring, uh, we were just so happy that the findings of that nodule or that mass in the right upper lung Actually, that spread, it was contained. It was just uh, very miraculous because we were really scared at that time that we still cannot uh, do the operation. With the monitoring, we were just happy that the mass that was found in the lung did not spread, in other words, no, until I was finally operated on October of 2020. Uh, I'm good. Uh, I'm strong. <laughs> I went back to work already. But I'm still under monitoring. But uh, praise the Lord, uh, praise uh, Padre Pio that everything turned out to be good. Matapos ang napagdaanan ni Doktora Joyce Olan bilang lung cancer survivor, agad namang sinubok muli ang pananampalataya ng mag-asawa. 2022 of last year, I was losing weight. It started with back pain, then back pain, it turned to be in front in the abdominal pain, and the pain is more on the stabbing pain, yung parang sinasaksak ka. Tapos doon, I lost weight. I was 150, then I went down to 115. Then, uh, we seek consult. I, I asked her about my disease, and we went to doctors with her. So many procedures was done, CT scan, a lot MRI, of procedures was done everything and it came out to be pancreatic CA. Further test came out to have a stage 4 pancreatic CA. A diagnosis of pancreatic CA is already more or less terminal. What we did was that's when you know we became closer. We prayed a lot. Once we've gone to Padre Pio prior to my surgery then what we did next would be, I did start with chemotherapy. It was a long 12 session Sessions. procedure, which is about six months. No? Tapos sabi ko, I asked, I prayed, oh Lord, give me a sign if I'll go to surgery. And I was so specific. Sabi ko, Lord, just give me a sign that my stomach is not affected. You see, that's the only source of food. If my stomach is involved, forget it. I'll just get wasted. Then it came out to be that the cancer cells are attached to the stomach, but it did not penetrate the stomach. We have some friend, a friend priest, who has the relic of Padre Pio. And this uh, relic was brought to me the night before surgery. He told me that, you know, yakapin mo siya and pray for it, pray for him. Uh -oh. And before he left, he told me, you know, you'll be okay. You'll be healed, the priest said, because you have a mission. My faith became stronger. Then the following day, which is surgery day, the main surgeon gave me he the just, relic yeah. of Padre Pio. He said, hold Pio. this and this is yours. Pray to uh, Padre Pio. Uh, hold this and uh, pray, for him, pray to him, which I did before surgery. Then it was a long procedure. Surgery was fine. They removed all the cancer cells, the organs involved, and I survived. And also, my sister and my brother-in-law from Tennessee came over the Philippines last year. They gave me this uh, prayer, healing prayer by Padre Pio. Actually, this is blessed, no? Uh, it says it was, the card was touched by the relic of Padre Pio. They told us not to pray it every night. So we really prayed it every night with my daughter. We prayed this every night before we got to sleep. So it's really powerful prayer, I believe on it. <laughs> God is above the law. We are just instruments of God. 
And with all what happened here, God gave us all the doctors and they're all instruments to help us with all the present situation we are in now. As doctors, we are just instruments. You know, it's just God is over all. Everything is over all. And just God sees everything what's happening. Incidental finding lang ang pagka-doktor. Pero lahat ng mga nangyayari sa atin, what happened to the patient, uh, good or bad, God knows it, and He's in control. Everything is destined there. Eh? What's important is that you make the most out of the present situation you are. Spread the word of the Lord. Yung napaka-importante yun because that's our mission. You touch one person, it will multiply. After my operation, with all the prayers of the Lord and the faith in Padre Pio, I feel that I'm now strong and my cancer has been good. God has been good to us all the time. Like my pancreatic cancer, I am healed, not cured, healed. Yes. And I'm go, I am back in chemotherapy for follow-up. You know, the faith with Padre Pio is very important. You have to be close to Him, you have to be close to God because it can really make miracles. I am stage 4 and that's too late for me for a cure. But with Padre Pio and the prayer prayers, you know, it really helped me and uh, make me strong and my faith is strong. So never give up. Habang humihinga ka pa, your prayers will make it easier for you. If prayers work, and, miracles work, and oh, yeah. what Padre Pio oh. said, pray, hope, and don't worry. Uh, BTS, uh, believe, trust, and surrender. To the Lord. To the Lord. Padre Pio, for us, really made uh, a, difference. a difference, and our faith is strong to Him and to the Lord. Ano mang antas ng ating pamumuhay, Isang pagpapatunay na ang kagalingan ng Diyos na binibigay ay pantay-pantay. Kaya naman taus-puso silang nagpapasalamat sa kabutihan ng Diyos sa tulong at gabay ni Santo Padre Pio.